Perfect. Hello, and welcome to uh, part two of our Penumbra Necrolog walkthrough. I'm Zom. Katgar. And uh, we have just opened up the vent area from the collector stage. Oh, no! Alright, so your hand doesn't activate that hand. So what you want to do is... Uh, uh, open up this box, grab this hand, slap that on there. Uh, we're good. Uh, so go to here, to this room, you'll see a computer. Click on the computer. Uh, now you can't see the icons because their face is in the way. Uh, but what you want to go down here is you want to push F W and S to move over to the cryo chambers control. Uh, click on that, open up access to the cells. Uh, and then uh, you can go in here. Uh, there are actually five spawn locations for the floppy disk we're looking for. Uh, so basically what you want to do is you want to go to any of the rooms that have these uh, big blue containers uh, and flip up these switches. It'll open up the container and you can grab the floppy disk out of this code. Uh, that's location number three, four, and five. Uh, so pretty, pretty simple to figure that one out. Uh, go ahead and use the floppy disk on the computer, and then you can uh, push S to go down on the floppy disk, S again instead of A or D. Go to the codes of the staff and get these codes. These codes uh, will allow you to open the sewerage door and a few other doors in uh, later levels. So uh, if you ever want to figure out uh, what those codes are at any point in time, you can open up your notebook. Uh, which is either tab and hit the notebook, or just push in and go to your other findings? No. Notes. And uh, codes for staff. There they are. 3715 opens up the sewerage. Uh, so let's go type that in now. How are you doing, Kaka? Well. That's good. Alright, three, seven, one, five. You must have the codes uh, for staff in order to enter that code. If you don't have the codes, it will not work. And right. here is our old friend. Alright, so take this path uh, in order to get to where you want to go. Um, uh, most other pathways are a dead end, so go to the second wheel, go to the first wheel. The first one is a facade, it will lead you to nothing but shame and sadness. Uh, so climb up this ladder um, and head on into the laboratory. Alright, this laboratory is where a lot of people get stuck. Um, so if you got stuck, you have to use a guy. Don't feel bad. Um, it was not very uh, clear on what to do here. Uh, so if you go to this room back here, uh, you go in this room and you're like, Hey, there's nothing here. I guess we should leave. What? There's nothing to do. Um, but, aha, such is not the case. If you turn on this light near the door, you can see this code. Um, this code is very important. Uh, for solving the puzzle. So if you go to your notebook and go to other findings, you can see that strange formula. Um, so, uh, what you want to do is you want to first, you want to go to this door right across the hall from the entrance, uh, and you want to jump up here and grab these matches. Matches are pretty important. Uh, not just for this area of the game, but you use them later too. So. Yep. One needed, one Yep. Alright, so you go here, um, there's not really anything uh, threatening, so you can take your merry time. And what you want to do is you want to grab all these chemicals. You can see that they have labels on them, uh, CH, AR, etc. Uh, and you want to grab nine of them. So keep grabbing those, the, those chemicals until you have nine. Uh, there are certain ones that you need, uh, and they are, they're always in the same place, but uh, you want to pick up those chemicals in that notebook, uh, just so you have, you know, everything to work with. Uh, 
Uh, yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So we have all the chemicals at work, and to solve this puzzle, uh, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to mix chemicals in here. Like, let's. Okay. So first you need to light the burner. Uh, first you have to turn on this gas. Uh, once the gas noise comes on, you can use your matchbox on the burner. Don't use it on the beaker, you have to use it on the burner. Uh, this game is very specific on uh, which ones. It'll look at you with scorn. <laughs> uh, so if you put just three random chemicals in this, they'll explode. That means you didn't do it right. Uh, so basically what you... You can look at the notebook, you can read your uh, notes, the lecture notes about acid. Uh, you can like... Uh, figure out, it helps you figure out uh, which numbers are which, but basically uh, what you want to do is you want to use the numbers that correspond, or use the chemicals that correspond with these numbers. That is S on the periodic table, O, 3, uh, this is TRG from the notes, H, 2, O, uh, so that's SO3, TRG, H, 2, O. And that these must be used in order. If you don't use them in order, it will not work. Uh, so let's see. You can solve it without that formula, but you apparently need to be right then in chemistry class. <laughs> I do it. Uh, so SO3, TRG, and water. And that will give you a little noise. You can pick up this acid. I'm gonna play some spooky music. Not really sure why. There's not really anything threatening that happens. Spoiler alert. Um, so uh, what you want to do is you want to go into this room with the lamp and the whatnot and this locker, which is locked, um, and you use the acid on the lock as you did in. Uh, you at least did it in the Amnesia Machine. Piece. Um, you must, by the way, you must, once again, you must use the acid on the lock. You cannot use it on the lock, but you must use it on the lock, otherwise it will not work. Uh, and use this key on this locked door. We'll unlock it, and this will lead you to the exit. If you look down here, there's an arrow pointing here. Uh, push this button. It will move that bookcase. Uh, don't forget to always look in drawers and stuff. There's lots of good lore and batteries and... Uh, Painkillers and whatnot help you out. Goodies, goodies are fun. And with that, thus to the living quarters, and that, um, and that will conclude part two of our video. Thanks for watching, and join us again if you need any more help.